Officer Lisa Lee is one of Heathrow's 1700 UK border agency staff. Today, she stopped a student returning to Britain after spending five months back home in Pakistan. Mr. Qureshi, you come with me. I have your ticket passport here, OK, sir? All right. He says he's here to take exams, but a quick call to his college throws his story into doubt. They say he's never attended at all. Officer Lee wants to search the passengers' bags as they might reveal what he's up to in the UK. How much is here? Uh, 2,080 pounds. 2,080 pounds. Yeah. So you have yeah. a job here? Uh, yeah, I have a job. Yeah. What were you doing here, and, sir? A uh, minicab office is a controller. Controller in a minicab uh, yeah. office. As a student, the man is allowed to work, as long as it's only part-time. He's adamant his main reason for being here is to study. The only problem is, to be a genuine student, you need a genuine college. I, I go to in my college in every day, but they are not uh, studying uh, in. They are only uh, cashing the price. Please give me a gesture. It's my future. OK, so yeah. Well, we'll talk uh, about that in a moment. Yeah? Yeah, we'll talk about that in a moment, your yeah. future, yeah? Yeah. I'm very hard work for students. So I know you're anxious, I know you're nervous, but you need to wait for me, all right? Give me a gesture, gesture. Can you follow me? Yeah. He's very nervous. He's almost pleading with me to let him in. Please give me a gesture. Please give me a gesture. Sir, so, as I said to you, I will talk to you in a moment, OK? He said a few things about his studies. I'm going every day, but they are not teaching or something. So I need to try and work out what he means. But he's clearly very worried. He actually asked me if I was going to deport him. And I said, well, I don't know what will happen yet. Just, you know, bear with me and answer my questions. The passenger is desperate to be heard. He wants Officer Lee to investigate his college. Okay. Please give me justice. I am a real student. I am, I am sir, a hard person. Sir, yeah. justice is a big word, all yeah. right? So you, you have, have to bear in mind yeah. that I have to follow the rules. Yes, you have followed okay. the rules. But the uh, college has given me a, a deceit to me. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? He's claiming that um, the college is bogus in that he was attending when he was meant to attend and they were not running classes. Now, they've said to us immediately, we rang them, he's never attended. The problem he's got is he stayed here for six months without doing any, appearing to do nothing and is now saying he's coming back to find another college. Um, so either he's not being completely honest or the college is um, fibbing. Officer Lee must find out who is telling the truth. It seems the college is sticking to its guns, backing up its claims in writing. What I have here is a, a fax from the college, which says that he enrolled on a 12-month course for an advanced diploma in business admin, which should have commenced last March 2008. They claim to have written to him concerning his poor attendance, but they never received any response, and so they've uh, removed him from their register which essentially means he has no place to study. Um, so now we need to get to the bottom of his allegations as well. Mr Qureshi? And to make sure his allegations are understood, the passenger has asked for an interpreter. How long did you attend the college for? Had, uh, on and off Jatta House College. For six months I went on and off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they didn't teach anything there. Fees lady. And they took my tuition fees off me. How much did you pay them? So that's a pound. £1,600. OK. We spoke to your college and they gave us this. I'm going to give you a fax page. OK. Can you tell me? Yes. You don't go to college. You don't study. He said, I'm, I'm saying to you, you investigate this college. And I didn't receive any letters from them. There are absolutely no classes that go on. And I haven't received any letters. Can you tell me about that? There are absolutely no classes that go on. And I haven't received any letters from them. OK, the difficulty I have is that you were here for six months and you did nothing about this college. They had more money. And they were asking me for more money. I didn't have any further access to any funds and I was afraid that they were going to report me to the Home Office and remove me. When you arrived today, you told me that you were coming back to continue your studies yeah. and that you would take exams in March. Why would you say that if you're not going to attend that college? Study, I won't stop. Eventually, I would enrolled at a different college, but in the meantime, 
I didn't want to be stopped by immigration. So you lied? I do, man. Yes, I did. So you sought to secure your entry to the UK by employing deception? I had no money, I had no other way. Sorry, life may not be good. I've always worked hard. My father is a kidney transplant patient. My father is a kidney transplant patient. And my mother is old. And my mother is old. I am their only son. I am their only son. My father will get a heart attack. He goes, in any sense, I'm not going to go back because my dad, my father will get have a heart attack. Why don't you do this? Don't do this. He's saying, don't ruin me, help me. <laughs> if the passenger is to avoid being sent back home, he needs Officer Lee to believe his allegations. Oh, no, me. <laughs> and to accept that he's here to find a new college. <laughs> At Heathrow, the Pakistani student is waiting to hear if he can come into Britain. At first, he said he was here to take exams. Now he's accused his college of being bogus and claims his intention is to find a new college. Officer Lee refers the case to Chief Immigration Officer Sarah Dyson. He can't explain why in the six months that he was here before going to Pakistan, he has made no serious attempt to re-enroll or to find another college. Well, I mean, I think just by doing that impacts on his credibility, doesn't yeah. it? And whilst he says, no, no, this college are just taking money off me, they've never provided me with any lessons, I don't think that's a good enough argument. No. And that shows that he's not a genuine... ...shows that he's not a genuine... ...and that shows that he's not a genuine... ...to studying in the UK. And also he lied. As soon yeah. as he got to the desk out there, yeah. he, he gave a complete rubbish story, Just didn't he? to secure he? his entry. To secure his entry. Yeah. So you have to question his intentions, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Hey, sir, I need to have a chat with you, OK? Come with me. OK, my chief immigration officer has decided that we are going to cancel your visa. This is because we're not satisfied that you have been making any attempt to study in the UK. You can have no way. And that you lied when you came to the desk on arrival, yeah? Pani Leo? Oh. <laughs> he goes, I've been deceived before. That's why I went home. <laughs> he goes, if, if there's any studying going at that college... Ma, ma, okay, ma, ma. I am going to write a report. From the information you've given me, I will make sure that is passed on to our college, the people that look at the colleges, OK? Mm -hmm. So they will be looked into, I can promise you that. Yeah? Please help me. I can't do anything, sir, OK? The rules are there for a reason. I can't just permit you to come into the UK as a student because you're not a student. You never have been. You must understand the reason why we have to enforce the rules. <coughs> it's hard to say whether he's been a victim or not from the fact that he maintained throughout the interview um, that he'd paid money in good faith and had not received what he'd paid for, that he may well have been a victim. The minute we then contact the college concerned, it could be that they didn't want us investigating them, so they've denied all knowledge of him. Um, who's to say who's telling the truth and who isn't? It's just the, the bare facts are that he didn't study when he was given a visa to study. That's why it's been cancelled. The passenger was detained overnight and put on a flight back to Pakistan the next day.